Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing awesome. I wanted to share a video with you guys um, of something that I do with Leela. Um, so the ground is really kind of mucky and gross still from all the rain we've had. So I don't want to uh, throw the ball for her because I don't want her to slip and potentially hurt herself. She does have a little bit of arthritis. So I just am extra cautious uh, with the footing when we play fetch. But I do want to do some um, mental stimulation with her and also get some physical energy. So I've just arrived at a little playground. Obviously you wanna make sure the playground has no kids in it, but something I'm gonna do is I have her ball with me and I'm gonna actually hide it in different areas on the playground and then have her go um, look for it. So obviously before you do this, you have to have a dog who has obviously a really good toy drive um, and also hunt drive. So she does have hunt drive where she wants to go and look for the item um, and not just particularly run after it. So what I'm going to do is I just have her in here in the set. I have the ball in my pocket. I'm just going to wait for this guy to finish his little journey and then I'll go and I'll hide the ball. So I just have her waiting here. And I have her favorite ball in my pocket. She knows I'm dog with their just to get some exercise out so I put her ball here we'll start here for now she still can't see her but she is in her SIT I'm gonna walk back over to her and then I'm gonna tell her to go find it okay go find it and now she's gonna go look for it now she saw where I put it. <laughs> but that was just her. So I gotta start making it more difficult for her. Good girl, did you find it? <laughs> so I like doing this because the footing here, like this is the playground footing. It's super soft, um, so it's good on her joints. She's also not gonna get dirty because it's so muddy out there and she's not gonna slip. Out. All right, good. Sit. I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna go back. No! Oh, she cheated. <laughs> sit. Sit. Leela, sit. Good. It's because I'm talking to you guys. She thinks I'm talking to her. All right, I'm gonna go up. So this time I'm gonna hide it up here. You can see there's like a slide thing. She's still in her SIT. I'm gonna come down. Okay, go find it. Let's see. Oh, and she got it. And she's coming back down. Good girl. Lila, <laughs> out. Good. Sit. Sit. Good. I'm going to walk to a different area now. Where should I hide it? Let's go over here. Obviously, you also have to have a good stationary command with your dog so that you can actually go and hide it. I'm going to do a little hard one. Maybe I'll put it like right here in this. <laughs> oh god, that doesn't look appropriate, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back to her. I like to come back to her and release her only because she's such like a anticipatory dog. I don't want her to be recalled off the SIT. I want to come to her and release her. Okay, go find it. She's so smart. She sees me. Oh, let's see. Oh, she missed it. Look at that. 
She smells it. Do you guys see she's smelling it? She knows it's there, but she... <laughs> there we go. Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Leela out. Good. Down. Good. So I just put her in it down. And I'm always just respectful when like people are walking around just because I don't want them to be afraid. Um, so this guy is here again. He's just walking. So I'm going to let him pass and then I'll keep going. Good girl. Hello. Good girl. Good. Good job, Leela. Good. Good. Good job. Good. This guy really keeps looking at me like I'm crazy. Down. Okay, I'm going to go hide it again. Let's see where I can hide it. Let me do it up here. All right, so that's up there. She has to climb those stairs. I'll go back to her. Good. Good girl. Oh, there's a dog coming. Let's go down. Let's let him pass. I just don't want to let her loose and then they're going to think she's like coming after them. You gotta wait. And this waiting for her is good. I'll just let them pass. Good girl. <laughs> the dog's like, what are you guys doing? That looks fun. We'll just let them pass. Good girl. Okay, go find it. So now, because I had her in the down for a while, she doesn't know where I put her, put it. So let's wait for her to figure it out. I don't want to help her. I want her to use her brain because that's good for her. So she's on to it. She's like, how do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Oh, she's going to go up the stairs. And she's up the stairs and she found it. Good girl. Good job! Good. Good. Good job. So yeah, that's just something, a good game to play with your dog. You can start off down by working uh, in your backyard. You can hide like the favorite toy like behind a tree or in a bush. Have the dog wait so that you're, you're um, building up sort of that pent up uh, want to find it and then you can send the dog to find it as soon as they find it. Release, reward, you can give another toy as a reward and then slowly you can build up um, to really kind of get that, that want to search. Now, not all dogs are gonna do this. Again, you do have to have that, that kind of drive in the dog, but anyone who has, you know, sort of a working line dog or a high drive dog or medium drive dog will love this game. And it's just really good, especially if your dog's a bit older, it's good on the joints. Um, and it's just something fun. It gets them working in a different way, right? So she's using her brain, she's using her nose to find the toy instead of just kind of running after it. And then like this, I know that, you know, it's okay on her joints. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leela says hello, Leela says goodbye. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.